wall of my brother hierarchs in the Holy Archdiocese, to the clergy, to the families, to our Pilotobos, Maria Lobos, to all of you. It's good to be back in Nashville. Well, had you asked me that two years ago, I wouldn't have necessarily agreed. I would have thought, why again? But about a year ago, a decision was made that we would come back to Nashville. And it's important for us to recognize, as our congressman indicated, how hospitable we are here. And we are hospitable in Nashville. You'll find, I've said that before, the local people will come up and see the clergy, they're going to give them a hug to welcome them, ask for a blessing. That's normal. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> So while some things may be the same, the largest hotel in the country without a casino, <laughs> the new need for a GPS to be able to uh, navigate your way. I don't know if Harriet's here, but she told me that yesterday she walked 10,000 steps. <laughs> Harriet, congratulations. <laughs> That's my, the, the administrator of the office, so we're, we're pleased with that. Well, some things, though, are the same, certainly as has been pointed out, and more specifically, as you know, many things are different. The world is different, not just the technology, but the ability to come up and to think that, to wake up in the morning and to think that we live in a world of peace and harmony. You know those dreams of the 60s and 70s. Unfortunately, it is not what we are seeing. Ten years ago, our theme here in this clergy lady dealt with sharing the truth of the gospel and the love of Christ. And today, His Eminence, our Archbishop, has selected the theme that we are the voice, you, we are the voice of Christ in a changing world. And from what we see and what we're going to hear from His Eminence, it is so important that we get up and begin to speak. How grateful I am to be in Nashville, where we can say the name of God and not be embarrassed. Here in Opryland, and how many things have crosses on them? You can buy something religious openly and freely to glorify our Lord here. you are back again. We're grateful that we as a church can come to this place and gather in as family and friends. Yes, I'm sure there'll be some disagreements on various issues. That's normal. That's what a family does. But more importantly, there will be the solid foundation as indicated by our Archbishop as to where we are going as a church and to how we should work together. Because we are called upon to be that voice in a world that now needs to hear the truth and the message of the Lord in an even more powerful way. We cannot simply sit back and say, well, I, I, I better not say anything because the world now needs to know that we are the people of God and that we invite everyone into the household. And it starts in that. As many of you know, our hierarchs, our archbishop, and a number of the bishops, we have been extraordinarily busy in this past year attending the Patriarchal Synod and now the Great and Holy Council that we were at. It's been a difficult year. I would tell you that without the help, and I would thank them at the outset, from certain of the community people here in Nashville, this would not have been possible. Yes, Jerry Dimitrio and Maria Andreanus from the Archdiocese. We thank you for your help. <laughs> Father Gregory, where are you, Father Gregory? Stand up. Thank you. And President Sophia. President are you here? She got me through the traveling. She gave me the list of vitamins I wasn't taking. I was coming back for evidence every time for the Patriot King sick. Now I'm healthy. Thank God for the Patriot I got the vitamins. The 
George and Leanne Anderson, who have been the major co-chairs and work with the Archdiocese to make this possible, to Pete and Georgette Kennedy, the parish co-chairs, I thank you. And on this note of the 4th of July celebrations, we express our appreciation as well to Dimitri Bogonis and the local color guard who made this day uniquely special. We are here as a church. His evidence is here to call us to action, not simply to leave from here as we were, but to leave changed and to begin to spread that message openly in the world in which we live, that others may come to know the love of Christ, to know his love for us and his forgiveness, that together as his people, we might enter his kingdom. Welcome on behalf of our Holy Trinity community, our St. John community, welcome on behalf of all of the metropolis parishes, our clergy and our faithful and our philanthropists, welcome on behalf of the Metropolis Council. We're glad to have you back in Nashville, y'all. So have some hot chicken.